Welcome to this session on the Harmony Mobile Architecture. By the end of this session, you will be able to describe the various components in the Harmony Mobile solution and its data flow. Let's begin. Although not mandatory, you'll find that most Harmony Mobile solutions are deployed with UEM integration. The UEM, also known as MDM, is a unified endpoint management solution, which is in charge of managing devices. The following architecture addresses such an integration with a UEM provider. We begin with the employee's mobile device where the Harmony Mobile Protect app is installed. It is a lightweight application for iOS and Android distributed from the public app stores. The app, which is usually pushed to the device by the UEM, gathers data from the mobile device and helps analyze threats in the enterprise environment. It monitors the device and provides data to the solution to identify suspicious or malicious behavior. While some of the analysis is done on the device itself, Resource-intensive analysis is performed in the Checkpoint Cloud. Anonymized data is sent from the app to Checkpoint's Threat Cloud, which is the world's largest live source of indicators of compromise. Threat Cloud incorporates real-time threat intelligence from hundreds of thousands of Checkpoint gateways and from millions of endpoints across the globe. At the same time, data of installed apps is sent to the Behavioral Risk Engine for analysis. This communication passes through the Checkpoint Harmony Mobile Gateway. The gateway handles the solution's communications with the organization's dashboard instance. In most cases, the behavioral risk engine is already familiar with the installed application, as it proactively scans all apps and all versions directly from the public app stores. In case a certain installed app is not known to the Harmony Mobile Detection Engine, it will analyze the app for malicious patterns and suspicious behavior. Based on the engine's analysis, it can detect suspicious activity, and it produces a risk score according to the threat indicators and severity. The risk score determines what automatic mitigation actions are needed to keep a device and its data protected. This information is relayed to the Harmony Mobile Management Dashboard, and from the dashboard to the UEM for further enforcement measures. Administrators can monitor in real-time the threats to their organization in the Harmony Mobile Dashboard. And that about covers the Harmony Mobile architecture in high level. Now that we have that understanding, we're ready to dig deeper into deploying the solution. In our next session, we'll begin exploring the process of deploying Harmony Mobile and some interesting configuration options following the deployment. See you in the next session.